Okay, so maybe uh, it's not the biggest box that we've ever got, but I am kind of slightly excited. It's bulging. However, I think they may have ruined it. Let's find out why. Okay guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Six More Badger. This of course is George. Basically it should be called the George Channel because all of you guys just tune in to see him, not actually me. But this is another Evite box of awesomeness. Uh, as I said, they may have ruined this one and you're probably asking how could they have done that? I'll let you know. This one is the box of awesomeness flash edition. So it's another one that popped up, wasn't on the site waiting for three days before they actually released it. This one is the XX Celebration Wave 1. They've got a lot of weird names for these boxes now, like the, what was the other one? Um, okay, I can't remember them now off the top of my head, but all of the like flash ones, they just have some quite odd names afterwards. I feel like they're running out of actual names to differentiate them. So this was the XX Celebration uh, Flash 1. It was an expensive one, guys, $299. So instead of the 199 that the usual ones are, 299, an extra 100 bucks. However, when I saw it, there's only 143 boxes, which is one of the smallest amount of boxes that I've ever seen on a box of awesomeness, and it has some good stuff, some really good stuff. However, the reason I'm saying I think that they've ruined this is because when I got it, I don't know if you can see here, guys, but there is no paper covering this gap in the packaging. And I haven't tried to look, but as I picked it up and moved it, it's very hard not to kind of recognize the logo. Um, now, I'm not going to tell you what I think this is, guys, because I've looked up the list, but if you can have a little guess, look at that. Let me know if we're on the live, in the chat, or in the comments, what did the uh, brand or make of this box you think it is, or one of these weapons. So, I think I know what it is. I looked it up, I was like, uh, I think I know which box it is. Anyway, still should be a good win, if it is what I'm expecting. Um, obviously, you guys probably don't have the list of potential prizes up on your screen right now. Um, so I think you may not have an idea, and I'm going to try and open this quick enough so that you can't look it up and kind of guess. But, uh, yeah. Evike, if you're watching this in the future, I'd really appreciate the mystery box to be, or the box of awesomeness, to be an awesome box of mystery. Well, I can't see what's in it before I actually open it up. However, you've done pretty well on that previously, so, uh... So we'll see. Okay, right, so the paper kind of ended up down this end. Uh, guys, spread it so that I don't get to see what's inside. Push that over this way. First thing, let's kind of uh, cover the rest of it so that we can uh, have a look. I'm not looking at the box. Okay, guys, it's got a green bow on it. I don't even see here. But this is like a nice little green bow. This is what I expected. Um, I thought I'd seen the N and the E and that little kind of symbol. Um, so I think I know which box it is, but this is making me think again, because I'm like, hey, if this has got a bow on it, is this some like custom one that they've built out? I don't know. Let's open it up anyway. Pretty feel, I feel like we're opening the nicest thing first, which may not be the best way of doing my boxes, because that's not how I do it. Yep, foam. Here we go, guys. First prize in this box of awesomeness is... Da -da -da! It's what I expected. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what I expected. So, to start off, we have actually a very cool patch. I don't normally like patches, but that's some kind of like alien patch that I actually think is pretty cool. I don't know, what do you think I think? You like that? It's kind of cool, especially for October kind of thing, like a zombie alien patch. I like it. What about that, buddy? You like that one? No. Okay, so this has a little thing on it. Um, okay, so it looks like we have some iron sights. They're just giving me the iron sights there, separate. Um, we have an EMG Noveski Rifle Works uh, card. So I expect that's going to be the um, instruction manual. Um, this is a mag that we have, um, which is kind of cool, but it's not really... I presume that's not an MP5 mag. It's very... Very, oops, sorry, very straight, um, kind of a similar dimension. It's a high cap, kind of a, it's a metal construction, feels kind of good. It's got the Noveski logo on there. Um, the actual gun is in tan, which I actually quite like because I don't have any guns in tan, really. Um, I used to have my, uh, what was it, my uh, Avalon that was in tan, um, but I don't actually have anything else. This is cool, cool, actually. Um, it's full metal, so you can feel like the coldness of the metal. You'll probably hear my ring bang, banging against it. 
Um, I like how compact it is. Um, I got the incredible uh, MP5, the uh, Cyma one, from um, my box with actually the um, Team Reaper actual guys. Oh my god. That is horrible. This thing, to push it, like that's me pushing as hard as I can. I don't know if they just haven't lubed it or like... Oh my god. Okay, well that's not a good start. Um, obviously, so it's EMG, which I think is Evike Machine Group, so it's kind of like their in-house uh, brand where they kind of like team up with other manufacturers. So it looks like with this one they've teamed up with APS Honkatsu. It's like the Noveski little uh, thing. It says it's got an SDU 2.0 Silver Edge gearbox, so I'm hoping that's a good thing. Um, in terms of pushing the stock out, it's got like kind of like um, retractable stock, which has the main kind of uh, solid plate here which I presume that's going to be where the battery goes. Oh, this is a bit different. It's almost like this isn't a twist at the end here. This is like a uh, kind of like, looks like it pops down or is like a... It's got like a lever on here. So no, I'm going to have to look that up, but it's uh, not a huge amount of battery space is one thing I would say. Let's take the magazine and see what it looks like. Uh, that goes in that way. It's got a nice flared mag well, so you can see there. It's going to be easy to get uh, the actual mag in here. Um, let me retract this thing. How does it feel on the shoulder? So it's kind of good feeling. I mean, it's obviously the far select is a nightmare. It's got um, single side mag release, but it's also got the little uh, lever here, like the MP5 does. So it's almost like that. Um, that. It's very similar to that like M4AR kind of body. Uh, and then it's got the obviously smaller Madwell. It's got a very short kind of front uh, hand grip and barrel. And it's got the short thing. So I think this is a very cool CQB gun. You know what I mean? In terms of functionality, um, it's got a very short barrel. You've got very light kind of nice uh, platform to be using. These don't take up much space. You can carry a ton of rounds. Does full auto, does semi. Um, I mean, I think it's a good win for sure. Uh, in terms of value, I would say this is probably to something close to where Tie 2's close to where the, the value of the box was. Uh, but I'm not mad. I mean, like I've got another kind of SMG that I probably would pick over this one, being my MP5 from Cyma. But um, I don't have a huge amount of like shorter weapons, so I'm happy with that. I think it's a good win. Um, but I do think this is the box I was expecting, and I think based on that that the box is one of the you know the base boxes so there's a lot of winners to this one box but we will find out because there's more stuff to open up which is a nice thing with mystery boxes it's not just one thing and you're like wow it's oh look there's more stuff okay so let me put my hand around i think we've got here a antiviral nanotech mask so that's different from the mask we usually get we used to get the boxes of those blue kind of standard throwaway ones i've got a lot of these now um, so I might just try and do something cool with them on a gun or something like cut up the different patches and stick them to the gun in different ways. Uh, mask always useful, so that's good. Um, we'll put these here. Um, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, last thing. Looks similar, this box. Yeah, Matrix. So I've, I've had one of these boxes before, guys, and it was built by Cyma, I think, was when it doesn't seem to have Cyma written on it anywhere here. George, you excited for this? Nah, it's really not. Um, right guys, here we go. Foam. I think this came in nearly all the boxes. So um, I think this was kind of like, you know a lot of these mystery boxes, they'll do like the standard prize. And there's quite a few that come with, you know, that one gun that obviously they've got a lot of stock of and they haven't sold. Um, but this actually feels a lot better than I thought it would. You know, when you kind of think, oh, it's the cheap one that like they're trying to get rid of, people haven't bought it, so it's not that great. Um, it's kind of, it is a polymer body, metal upper, I think it's like a metal, yeah, metal upper and lower receipt, um, handguard, and the upper receiver is kind of linked to that front handguard. Um, it's got very big, bold magazine releases, like these things are huge, and the bolt release. Bolt holds back, so that's kind of cool, and then it releases, oh no it doesn't. Why isn't that releasing? Okay, well this is something to note guys, look at this. Look at that. 
that's not going back in. Um, it's not releasing the bolt, it's not going back in. Uh, it's almost like this little piece here is stuck. That's fully in, I'm pushing the uh, bolt release there and it's not doing anything. So one thing I would say guys is my big red flag on this already is build quality. I mean it just seems like it's just not built that well. If that's like happening on your first rack of the bolt, and, like look at this bolt handle like, coming out the back of the actual gun. It's like not properly in there. Um, fire selector again is, oh my god that's horrible. That's even worse I think than the last one. Like trying to push this around is, I mean it gets better slowly but it's not good. Uh, mag, uh, sorry, the uh, stock actually feels very cheap as well. I think that's quite a cool design. It's like a little hook and you just pull. But it's definitely loud. It's definitely uh, pretty cheap feeling. Feels good in the shoulder. It's very like kind of, I like this kind of lower cheek rest here. I mean guys, again, I think it's a good like loner gun. It's good for your friend who may want to just kind of take something out. It's good for backyard plinking. Um, I wouldn't expect this is going to be very high value. And as I said, it's already now exposed my hop up chamber, uh, which if I'm playing constantly, I don't think that's going to be great um, because I'm going to play in a lot of dusty areas. Um, it's got QD sling mounts. I mean, it's functional, key mod, it feels comfortable. I mean, if you're looking for a budget gun, maybe it's a good, good buy, but I'm thinking it's a hundred bucks. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's look it up. So, for this box, we got, so this one is, where is it? It's gonna be EMG, it's, it's uh, Noveski, isn't it? It's the one that we found. Okay, I found it. Uh, yep, and it's one of the base boxes. So this was one of 50 winners. I think there were two with 50 winners. Um, this actually wasn't the kind of base gun, I think, that everyone got given. Um, okay, so the EMG Noveski price is $319. Wow, okay, so that's kind of great. I mean, that is $20 more than I spent on the box, and I got free shipping. So uh, just this, I basically got a $20 gift card for free, and it, like, it, it's, it's a win. Um, I could sell that, and then I keep all the rest of the stuff, and we're all good, we're done. Um, so that's $319. This thing... This thing's apparently 200 bucks. Nah, like, uh, unless this performs incredibly well, do not buy this for $200. It's called a Matrix Warlord Modular Airsoft AEG Rifle. Nah, just don't, don't get that. Uh, and then I think the mask it says was $15. Um, so total value with 319, uh, 418, 518, uh, six, so 533. So basically $230 above what I spent, guys. Um, again, happy, thank you, Evike. Thank you for allowing me to do an unboxing of this because it's kind of cool just to be able to see what you get in them um, and also not lose value. You know, I can sell that now and I'll just kind of, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna sell this. I'm not gonna sell that. I'm just gonna give this away probably because it's not doing it. Yeah, doesn't want to return, and that looks like a very cheap hop-up unit in there as well. It's like a red plasticky wheel. All right, guys, um, for the box of awesome, I'm going to give this a three, three out of five, because I love this, uh, other stuff in it, yeah. you know, it's $20, you know, I didn't get to choose the gun, but I am getting more value, and uh, this I'm just not happy with, that's not Evike's fault. Um, George, same? Yeah, you agreed? Okay, so we're both going to go with a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 Badger rating, 3 out of 5 George rating. Let me know in the comments what you would give it out of 5, because uh, I'm quite interested to see how close to my rating you guys actually think is uh, accurate. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, subscribe, like, Discord, uh, TikTok, Instagram, you know the places. Um, George is going to uh, hopefully uh, be more active on the next video. We'll see. I'm um, not promising anything. But uh, have a great rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you on the next video, and hopefully that is very soon. Goodbye.